Hello there Transformers fans and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review and today we are reviewing the last Autobot of the Studio Series Bumblebee movie line. This one is Studio Series number 85 Bumblebee RC. This is probably the one I've been looking forward to most out of the Autobots. I really liked their take on RC for the, I mean, for the brief time we saw her on screen. I really liked their take in design, is what I mean. The, the design on this is really, really cool. I love the alt mode. Absolutely love the alt mode. I love how they blended both her Generation 1 futuristic um, car mode with her off, off on other times motorcycle mode. I like how they took those two different ideas and just kind of blended them together in this kind of futuristic alien Cybertronian kind of like hybrid looking mode it, it just it looks awesome it looks really awesome can't wait till we get to that point in the video anyway here she is in the package um, you've got an awesome mostly full body uh, bit of artwork of her character model from the movie um, you've got that on the side panel here you've got her number and her profile right there on the back you've got her in both modes and that's pretty much it for the box and just like the rest of the Studio Series line. She, of course, does come with a backdrop that you can display her on. And this is the same one that comes with a lot of the Cybertronian mode Autobots. You just got that big bridge in the background. You've got some Seekers in the background doing some Seeker things. You've got some Autobots. You got B-127 charging in the battle. So, yeah, you got some cool stuff there on that. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. Um, she comes with two little blaster pistols here. So she does come with a couple of little awesome accessories. And she can dual, dual wield those, which I really like. There we go. And she's actually very articulated. And, and she has some pretty cool detailing. So I like in, in the package, they have her little backpack bits flared out. And what's really cool is it, it looks like it's a jetpack. It looks like she's got these little wing thruster bits here that just kind of protrude out. Now, um, they're supposed to be, you know, kind of just flush against her back like this. They don't really peg into anywhere, which is kind of strange. They're just free floating and articulated. Um, I like the little metallic gray line bits and the little metallic gray detail on the thrusters there. However, I'm not crazy about the inside. The inside is just plain pink plastic. They didn't, you know, do the other side of the th or the inner side of the thruster bits right there. Um, or any of that other metallic, not metallic, or any of that other robotic detailing that's also on the inside of the thrusters there. Uh, you've got what looks like kind of a, a vent right here cast in pink plastic. That would have been cool in like a metallic silver color, I think. You've got that metallic gray right here around her collar. Um, plus that classic RC white right there with the Autobot symbol in the center. Love that. Again, very, very G1 in design. I like how they pretty much did a very similar head design to a classic RC head design. I like that her face is a lighter shade of pink. That, that looks really awesome to me. Um, but I also like how they kind of sleeked up her head design a little bit with those classic Princess Leia cinnamon bun things that they did with her original design. I like how they just kind of sleeked it down made her made her head just more um, spherical than than in than ovular in the past she is fully articulated head is on a ball joint and that that does come up a little bit but that's due to transformation fully articulated shoulders upper bicep double jointed elbows and that's mostly due to transformation but hey it works for the robot mode too wrist joints go in and out and that's pretty much it no rotation or anything on the wrist waist hips, upper thigh, a knee joint right here, and a joint right here above the ankle, which is nice, so you can get some pretty cool posing with that. And you do have that side-to-side -side ankle joint right here as well, and that's pretty much it for her robot mode articulate. Oh, well, I mean, also the thruster bits. Those are on a ball joint. These, these do rotate on a swivel joint as well, which is kind of nice to have. So, yeah, there you go. That, that's pretty much it for her articulation. And before we transform her, since she is the final Autobot that we see on screen in the film, 
here she is with all of the rest of the Autobots that we see on film. So here she is with Ratchet, Wheeljack, Brawn, Cliffjumper, Ironhide, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee. We're going to move these guys over here, actually. There we go. And Bumblebee. I know they're all Cybertronian, but that's my favorite Bumblebee from the movie. I, love, I loved him in his bug mode the most, so that's what I went with for this. But yeah, we have... There was only eight Autobots that appeared on screen in that movie. And here they are. There, this is all of the Autobots that appeared in Bumblebee the movie so far. Um, the only one we don't have in Cybertronian mode yet is Optimus. So hopefully there's another Bumblebee Optimus coming sometime soon and we get like a really cool Cybertronian truck mode out of it. I mean, if we don't, I don't think it's the end of the world, but I think it would just be neat to have all eight Autobots in their Cybertronian modes um, since they were on Cybertron doing their little battle there. I think that would just be really cool to see the, the Cybertronian truck mode of this character model just because... Live action, this is the best character model they've ever done for Optimus Prime, very easily. That I would say the next best one is probably Evasion Mode Optimus and Age of Extinction, just because I love him in that classic flat, flat face cab Peterbilt, but that's just me. Anyway, there she is with all the Autobots. Um, now for Transformation. Uh, she, she is a pretty cool transformation, and her again, her alt mode, I absolutely love. So uh, we're going to start by kind of flaring out these uh, little thruster bits here. We're going to pull up on that little joint there that I was talking about earlier. We're going to pull back on all of this, so we're just going to kind of like accordion her, I guess. And then we're going to come to the waist. We're going to rotate that around. We're going to come down to the legs. We're going to extend that a little bit just so it's out of the way. We're going to twist that ankle to the side, and then we're going to rotate her feet all the way around and clip them back. And, and you want this kind of flat against that bit, and then we're going to click that back into place. Do the same thing over here. Rotate that foot around. Click that back into place. And then the wheels do peg into each other and these do roll which is pretty cool we're going to peg those together next there's a, a few little peg holes right here on the thighs and on the shins right below the knee and then there's pegs on these little bits so we're just going to kind of extend all this stuff out we're going to fold that head in and then we're going to bring that bit down so now that that's all nice and straight we're going to just kind of line up and peg that all in. So it's a, it's a pretty nice and, and clean transformation, I think. Next, we're gonna bring her torso back. There's two little pegs right here. There's two little pegs right there. And we're just gonna attach all that together. Next, we're gonna come to the arms. We're going to, on that secondary elbow joint, we're going to fold that in all the way on both. Actually, no, I think it's that first one. Yeah. And then we're going to bring her little thrusters around and down. And there's a little tab right here, and there's a little hole right here. We want to peg that in like so. And then there's a tab right here. There's a little hole right here. And we're going to peg that into the thigh. So that's all going to peg together. My, my only real complaint about this alt mode is the hands. Um, the hands just kind of, once, once we get all that, the hands just kind of uh, fold inward at the wrist onto the back. And it, and I guess it's just because when Hasbro was designing this, they, they were just absolutely nailing it, making this mode look really, really cool. But then they got to the hands and just didn't know what to do with them. So you do this, and that's where the hands go. So... Everywhere else, it looks awesome. Um, again, she's like this futuristic bike mode. It's it's just an awesome hybrid between her 
her classic four wheeled car mode because she does still have four wheels she's got a wheel here a wheel here and then these two wheels up front that are together um, and and I just love that look of, of especially the little you know the little hollow interior of the wheels there that, that just makes this design look so very cool very uh, kind of Tron like in a way um, and you, you got the little windshield right here that can go up a little bit that's that's really awesome it just a lot of this design is so very cool it's just once you get to the hands it's like wh what do I do with these hands they Hasbro didn't know what to do with them so they're just kind of there would have been cool if I know the mold's small and because of the elbow joints there it would have been cool if uh, you could fold the hands into the forearm panel I think that would have looked a little bit better than just having these you know just hands sticking out of the back of her bike mode um, you can put her uh, blaster pistols on her bike mode they just kind of tab onto the back right here or actually it probably looks better if you do it the other way there we go yeah they just kind of tab on the back right here um, it, it would be I think cooler to have them facing forward since you know she's usually in battles and stuff because you, you can't really make it to where they're you know facing forward um, you can put them back in her hands, so she just always has them in her hands. And, and that does a l makes it a little bit better in hiding the hands in her bike mode, I guess, if you just never remove the blasters from them. And it looks like she's just got a couple of extra uh, pipes coming out of the back, which it, it's kind of, it kind of makes it a little bit cooler, but at the same time, I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of weird and feels a little lazy to me. But other than that, I absolutely love this figure. Um, again, this is probably the Cybertronian mode I was looking forward to the most, other than Bumblebee, of course, because that, that Cybertronian form was just really cool on him. Um, but I, I just absolutely love the way they did RC, and I'm glad they didn't just skip RC and move on to you know, Rise of the Beast or something else in Babers. So there you go. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this review today. Make sure you go check out other Bay 12 content. Like and subscribe. Follow us on social media for updates and all other kinds of things. And on Facebook, once a month, we usually do one of our live sales where we sell all kinds of awesome toys and collectibles. So tune in for that, too. Catch us at local cons, filming all kinds of different content for your view viewing pleasure. Hang out with us and come meet with us because we like to hang out with you guys, too. Make sure you leave comments on our videos. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Transform and roll out.